This is a short video on the moves I use when trying out X races. Now these moves don't have to be fast and furious because an X racer has never been really taught to do the things that we require our polo resources to do, such as neck rain or rollbacks or haunch turns. So let's just get stuck into this video now. So all that this video really is about is to see and to test their natural balance as the best polo resources have great balance. If they don't, it's not the end of the world, but a balanced horse can quickly learn as they can effortlessly get their legs in the right place. So to test their balance, there are typically three moves. A tie into the fence, which you've just seen me do at a slow trot, which is the basics of a rollback. A tie in the corner, which is the basics of a horse type or a spiral, or whatever you really want to call it. And finally, a figure of eight, just to see how they change leads and follow their nose. Now, with the turn into the fence, it's very much like it sounds. You travel along close to the fence before stopping, turning the nose into the fence, moving the shoulders out of the way, and then traveling back out in the direction you came. So as you're about to see, I'm about to demonstrate one now in a canter. So here I come along, and you'll see I'm about to stop, put my nose into the fence, and travel out the other way. Now the other thing to pay attention to is the canter. This is quite a smooth and comfortable canter. You know, it's not jarring and it's it's not too fast, it's not rushed, it's pretty even and it's pretty balanced. So moving on from that, it's a turn to the corner. Now this is similar to a turn into the fence, in that you're using the fence to stop the shoulders from falling out. However, it's a forward movement and the horse shouldn't stop at any point. To do this, you make a square in the corner like I just have done. And as you travel past the corner, you turn back through it and out the other way. This keeps forward throughout the entire turn. So there we go, there's another example of the turn there. Now moving on, we're going to see in a minute a figure of eight. Now the figure of eight is you just canter this pattern, just canter a figure of eight, and ask for a lead change in the centre every single time. You might want to do a little repetition of this because it takes a while to click onto it. So as you see, there in the middle of that eight, I'll do another change. I'll come back around again and I'll change the other way. Now I'm not really asking her too much for these changes. I'm more just sort of pointing her nose and changing my weight in the saddle to see how she copes with it. So that was pretty good there. Just to sum this video up, if you find yourself trying an X-Racer out for Polo Cross, think about testing their potential using these three exercises and focusing on how balanced they are throughout. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it gave you some ideas, and fingers crossed Edie will have what it takes on the Polo Cross pitch. I mean, at least she's now got a bit of time to practice before the season starts up again.